Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. So today I have a special release for you. This comes all the way from Austin, Texas. It is from Still Austin. Uh, they're a fairly new company, but they've just released, and I believe it's only at the distilleries. And I got this one because I'm a part of the East Texas Bourbon Society. I got this special Still Austin. Can you see it? There we go. Still Austin straight bourbon whiskey. Now this is the first of its kind. Uh, this was I can't get the. Uh, this was a gift. <laughs> Kitty cat. Uh, wasn't it? Well, it was kind of a gift uh, for signing up for. Uh, this special one-off tasting put on by still Austin. Hey, what? Come come here. Ah. Come here. Oh god. Why are you so heavy and your claws are so sharp and thick? Uh, I need to trim her claws. So anyway, this is still Austin's very first straight bourbon whiskey. So what do we know about straight bourbon whiskey? It has to be aged at least two years. Now, with this little gift set, you get a piece of the stave that actually aged this specific bourbon, which is really cool, and then a little uh, information. What are you doing? What? This is not for you, and your claws are sharp. Um, I'll read off from this, actually. Pretty cool little packaging here. It's all made of like thin, almost balsa wood type material, but it's probably... Who knows what it is. Uh, but they gave all these out in little 375s. So I'm gonna open this up. It almost kind of reminds you of a wild wild turkey label. Uh, it, the way it is, like the red label all the way around on the top. Let's see if I can find it. These are things that you should be doing prior to the video. Right. Hey. I apologize. I've been a little uh, absent this week. I've literally been so poor on time. It is not even funny. But I'm going to do this one for you. I've got a couple other reviews waiting in the wings. Um, sorry. It happens. Just ran out of time this week. All right. So I'm going to read just real quick. It's finally here. After years of hard work and dreaming and more hard work and more dreaming. We're ready to send out our baby, our flagship spirit, which we've been perfecting for years. Inside you'll find a bottle of our new straight bourbon made from 100% Texas grown corn, rye, and malted barley. This is the distillation of all we are and of all that has created us. An expression of true Texas terroir. I think that's how you say it. Terrier, <laughs> what's a goddamn terrier? Like our home city, this bourbon is inclusive and original. It took a combination of south side pluck, oak aged patience, slow water reduction, and good old fashioned ingenuity to bring this spirit to life. Along with the help of uh, one very special 50 foot tall woman, Nancy. AKA, she's only 42 foot tall. Anyway, that's their column still. Our one-of-a-kind Scottish made still. For us, this whiskey represents so much that is good in the world, its inspiration and togetherness, community and creativity, but most of all, it's delicious. So, I have had a chance to try this. Uh, I told y'all I wanted to get away from the, the neck pours out of a bottle, like the uncorkings and the, uh, whatever, because a lot of people do those specifically, so I want to give them like, a real opinion of it after it's been open for a few days or weeks. So, it says, we invite you to experience our newly released flagship straight bourbon whiskey, this distillery exclusive 375 milliliter bottle, along with a stave piece cut from the barrel. Features a mash bill of 70% white corn, that's racist, 25% rye, and 5% malted barley. All grains are 100% Texas grown for the ideal first taste. We recommend putting on a record you love. Now they did in the Zoom meeting that we had, we all kind of went over and tasted these. They did recommend, they're very music centric as far as what types of music you listen to while you're enjoying your whiskey. So, 
something you find soothing and relaxing. See if you can connect with how music has shaped your imagination, your dreams, the way you live. Invite a friend to join if you like. This is the best way to drink our new straight bourbon by letting it sink down into the best parts of you and which it will. So I did get to taste it. I actually thought it was really good and this one's bottled at 49.2%. So right at a, oh, just under 100 proof. I will say that I felt like this this one did not scream Texas bourbon the first time I tasted it. And even now, as I nose it, it does not scream Texas bourbon. It really, it really says really, it's, it reminds me of Kentucky. It reminds me of Kentucky bourbon. So like uh, brands like Tawakero, Balcones, Balmer, or uh, Garrison Brothers, uh, Iron Root, they all have a signature tell and it's like, ooh, that's a bourbon. But that bourbon's not from Kentucky. It's got something different in it and it's probably from Texas. This one, at least on the nose, it smells like Kentucky bourbon. All right, let's see how she tastes. That is probably, in my opinion, one of the better tasting bourbons made here in Texas. I think it has all of the classic bourbon notes that you look for. And honestly, like it's very reminiscent of a wild turkey. And I think it's kind of funny that their label, at least their top label, the bottle included somewhat, but this part of their branding is very reminiscent of wild turkey. That's exactly what a wild turkey 101 bottle looks like from here up. And wild turkey 101 is a high rye mash bill. And this one's a fairly high rye mash bill, 25% rye. So it's got a lot of spicy notes, heavy caramel, and I think it's pretty awesome that they can get a product like this in two years where wild turkey has to spend seven or eight years to get upwards of the same quality. Now, I know they're brand new. I'm not comparing to them. I'm not saying that they are as good or better than or equal to wild turkey, but I think it's pretty amazing that somebody so young in this industry is crafting whiskeys that are comparable to the the big guys who've been around for a hundred years so all right i really enjoy it i think it i think it tastes great it's got a lot of spice to it a lot of bite classic bourbon notes let me get one more sip and then we'll go ahead and cut it off i know i was a little bit long-winded there at the beginning i apologize so the flavors the feel the mouth feel and I know on the bottle it says it says distilled and bottled by Steel Austin Whiskey Company, Austin, Texas. You could put that in a lineup against some wild turkeys, and I guarantee you, you probably wouldn't be able to pick it apart. You wouldn't you wouldn't know that you weren't drinking wild turkey. It's that good. I, I really like it. It's very surprising. Uh, I, I haven't purchased one. I've had a different version of the Steel Austin bourbon. Uh, but first time having this, and I think they got something good going on. I really like it. It seems more, oh gosh, sharp claws, get up here. So it's, it's almost a throwback to traditional, in my opinion, now, it might not be for the people in uh, Steel Austin. Taste-wise, it's a throwback to old-school bourbon, traditional style, whereas companies like Tawakero, Iron Root, Balcones, more specifically, and even Garrison Brothers, they're doing a little things different. They have the the wild side of the craft whiskey making whereas this tastes like a classic bourbon 
and it tastes like it came straight from Kentucky. So it's, I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I, I'm really digging the bourbon right now. So I'm not really doing a whole lot of other stuff, mainly because, hey, this was free. So I'm gonna do a free review on something. I'm not necessarily, I mean, if it was shit, I would say it was shit and I'd shit on it. Or at least I would not like it. I'd tell you guys, I'm not a fan of it. But this is actually a really solid product and I'm looking forward to seeing what they come with uh, in the coming year. Will you come up here? Come here. I need to get you a stool. Anyway, all right, it's time to feed her. Gino's coming over. We're gonna cook some burgers and stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, oh, I found a, for anybody sticking around this long, I have a bottle of Cargis, Lefroy Cargis 2020 on hold right now. And as soon as I find an extra $140 to buy it, I'm getting it. Probably split it with Mean, split it with mean Gene and uh, we'll do a review on it here shortly. So, Thanks for watching. Check the description for all the links to help out with the bills around the house. Like and subscribe. Thanks for everything you guys do. Thank you to all my patrons for hanging out and supporting me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, still going strong. Trying to keep it going. Don't forget to check out the Bearded Idiots. Like always, drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I chuck you in your face. I slap your face. I slap your face. Like always, drink some whiskey. Be safe. Don't don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time.